Imagine going for your morning bowl of cereal and having no milk. Dairy farmers across the nation are shutting down, and Newsbeat reporter Chris Casanza explains why. Professor Gary Hay and his team of farmhands work vigorously to produce milk at the LSU Dairy Farm. But Hay says money is tight. Uh, the dairy industry in, in uh, Louisiana and across the southeast is being hit particularly hard. Uh, we're experiencing uh, at about a 50 percent drop in farm milk prices in the last 12 months. The federal government sets the price a farmer receives for raw milk. However, prices aren't set until the end of the month. President of Kleinpeter Milk, Jeff Kleinpeter, says the federal government's raw milk pricing system is outdated. It's unfair. It's unpredictable. It ought to be more stable. Another problem for dairy farmers, the high cost of food. The expense of feeding the cows is well over 70 percent of our expenses on the dairy farm. Uh, the ethanol business has taken away a lot of the corn to make ethanol and uh, it's not available for livestock feed. Over the past 10 years, Louisiana alone lost more than a thousand dairy farms and Klein Peter says once a dairy farm is gone, it's gone. Never seen it happen where someone's come along and say, hey, I want to reopen my dad's farm. I've never seen it. Ice cream is just one of the many ways that farmers are trying to help increase profits during these hard times. Here at LSU, the majority of milk produced is sent to the LSU Dairy Store, where it's turned into ice cream for students to eat. We have a, uh, a small cream reprocessing facility, and we manufacture ice cream and cheese. Our production is actually up. Klein Peter also sees ice cream as the solution. Well, these folks to the east and west are saying the ice cream is so good, I can't wait to get the milk. Chris Cazanza, Newsbreak. The U.S. Department of Agriculture predicts overall farm profits will drop 38% over the next year.